there are hundreds and hundreds of places to stay in New York City. But there's only one Roosevelt Hotel. Let's check it out. Coming to the Roosevelt Hotel, you are really, truly taking a step back in time. Named for President Theodore Roosevelt, the Grand Dame of Madison Avenue just celebrated its 80th anniversary in 2004. A prominent landmark in Midtown Manhattan, guests can marvel at the recently renovated lobby. So the marble is as it was in 1924, the columns, the paint. We even took uh, samples of the wallpaper. We try to make it as authentic as possible. We have 1,015 guest rooms. The rooms combine the classic style of yesteryear with the modern conveniences of today. Every room comes with high-speed internet access. Everybody's got their laptops these days. 24-hour yep. uh, room service, so that's not an issue. Uh, the television is getting anything from HBO to your local stations. Their new bedding makes them the coziest place on Madison Avenue. Bed is everything. Right. Um, it's a wonder why hotel companies in the past didn't focus on it originally. I mean, after all, they come to a hotel to right. sleep. That's what it's all about. The super thick 15 inch mattresses, the 700 thread count sheets, the multiple pillows, the whole nine yards, and people are just giving us rave reviews on them. If you like suites, my gosh, I've got 50 suites that are extraordinary, many with fireplaces. We have the five luxury suites, which range up to 3,000 square feet, up to four bedrooms. Uh, we have our presidential, of course. You're right now standing in the presidential. It's a four bedroom suite, a little over 3,000 square feet. We've got a wraparound balcony outside, and, and uh, so you know, it affords a lot of uh, extra comfort. It's got a separate dining room, full living room, and a uh, huge bedroom. The lobby concierge, room service, and valet laundry are at your beck and call 24 hours a day. Fitness fanatics will love the state-of-the-art exercise equipment, while the meeting rooms can accommodate 8 to 800. And I wanted to show you one of our smaller meeting rooms. This is the Broadway suite. I can go up to 50 people, classroom style, or in rounds like you see here. A whole variety of programs. Unwind at the Madison Club Lounge and enjoy one of their famous martinis at the 30-foot mahogany bar. And it's been uh, an after-work hangout for all the upper crust businessmen around the city for many, many years. It's such a friendly environment. It's flanked by two large fireplaces on either end. Located at 45th and Madison, guests are only steps away from the action found in the city that never sleeps. We're catty corner from Grand Central Station. You can take it's eight minutes to walk to Times Square. There's a lot of choices when you come to New York, and you can stay many, many beautiful hotels. But if you really want to step back in time and step into an era that uh, is extraordinary, it, you know, the Roosevelt's the place to be. To book a room today, visit therooseveltthotel.com. And while you're staying at the Roosevelt, we strongly suggest dining at the Roosevelt Grill. By the way, we are sitting in the uh, Roosevelt Grill restaurant, and, uh, uh, and if I do say so myself, we have some of the best food in the city, one of the best kept secrets. We try to keep our food uh, really concentrated on, in New York, uh, New York cuisine, American cuisine, but try and do a twist on everything so that it makes it a little bit unique and, and our own. And one of the main attractions is our, our wonderful service and our staff, and you're gonna step into history and you're going to have a great meal. There are so many restaurants around here, you're absolutely correct, but we are so convenient. We're an elevator ride away, and I think our cuisine is as good or better than most of the area restaurants at a fraction of the price. While dining at the Roosevelt Grill, we caught up with the cast of Mamma Mia. While enjoying a delicious meal there, they took the time to tell us all about the Mamma Mia phenomenon. Oh, oh, oh. Mia, it's so great because oftentimes in the theater, you don't get to work with the people that you sometimes compete against. And this show is such a pleasure to be able to do things with people that you don't always get to work with. Mamma Mia, for, for anyone who hasn't seen the show, is not the story of ABBA. It's all ABBA songs set to the story about a young lady who's about to get married. On the eve of her wedding, a daughter's quest to discover the identity of her father brings three men back to the island they last visited 20 years ago. And then hilarity ensues while we all sort of try to avoid each other and try to figure out what's going on. I play Donna Sheridan, who is the mom in the show, the mom of the bride-to-be. Oh, my character is a party girl. She's fun. She's fun. She's fun. She's fun. Tanya comes in. Tanya and Rosie are kind of the comedy, comic relief. and. Uh, 
and the, the support for, for Donna and the show. You don't often in a Broadway show see women in their 40s having like, you know, a pajama party and jumping around a bedroom and singing ABBA songs and <laughs> pretending that they're holding microphones. And <laughs> because you're singing at the top of your lungs, belting out, you know, these high notes and running around at the same time. You know, we're not 20 years old anymore, so they ask us to jump around and we do it, but it's not as easy as, as we try to make it look. The show's in its sixth year at the Cadillac Winter Garden Theater on Broadway. In the story of Mamma Mia, we have been in a singing group in our, uh, in our youth. And so we're reunited, and so that's part of how they get the songs into the story. The storytelling magic of ABBA's timeless songs are seamlessly woven into the enchanting tale of love, laughter, and friendship. But it's just a romp. You know, it's, it's very silly, and, and yet it has um, nice emotional content because there's the mother-daughter story, there's the friendships, and there's a love story. And I think that people have a lot of sort of nostalgic memories about ABBA songs. So. You pull it all together, and it's been a big hit for five years. Every night when we come out, people will say, looks like you're having so much fun yeah, up there. Yeah. But it's so fun, especially when the audience, as they usually are, gets so into it. Night after night, audiences are having the time of their lives at this irresistible musical. Isn't it time you did, too? If you're coming to New York, and you want to have sort of a, a, a lighthearted, very fun evening in the theater, this is a great choice. For tickets and showtimes, visit MamaMia.com. We may be in New York City, but Australia is just around the corner. So Cheryl, have you ever eaten kangaroo? I have. And you know, they have the best kangaroo right here at Bondi Road. For the best of Australian-style fun times and great food, look no further than New York's own Bondi Road. Being Australian, uh, living in the city for uh, 10 years, uh, I wanted to bring a little bit of my home to New York. A little bit of the way we eat. Bondi Road's menu is based on the simple fish and chip shops you'd find near Sydney, Australia's famous Bondi Beach. You come in, you get treated very well, we give you a shot on arrival, we like to drink, we like to eat, you're at the beach, you know, it's summertime all year round in New York. You'll find a large variety of adventurous foods, from wild gigantic hamburgers to authentic kangaroo meat steaks. Well, we bring our fish from uh, Australia, so any of the fish we have you generally don't find in this country. Barramundi is uh, probably the most popular fish. We don't add anything to it. You, you might get a special here, but it's generally just the flavor of the fish. A true raw bar is a popular part of the menu. It even comes in drinks. We do oyster shooters here because uh, we like to put everything with alcohol, so uh, you can have a Bloody Mary oyster shot or a fruity oyster shot. And you can't help but ask about the, well, unusual display case. We generally get a Mako shark on the weekends and display it and then we do uh, shark attack Sundays and Mondays where you can uh, come and eat the shark rather than get eaten by it. Uh, we'll, we'll break that down and cook it in a number of different ways. The fun music, a lively staff and creative menu make a very unique atmosphere. We want you to eat well, we want you to drink well, we want to know you, you know, you, we want you to become a part of our family, that's, that's, that's what we're looking for. For more information, check out their website BondiRoad.com, uh, the phone number, you can call and make a reservation. While we were out and about in New York City, Cheryl and I stopped in for the authentic Moroccan cuisine of Babouche. Stepping in, you almost think you're in Morocco rather than New York City, dining among velvet pillows and wafts of rosewater scent. It's really about a rich culture. It's about the music, it's about the food, it's about an atmosphere. Babouche serves traditional Moroccan meals like couscous and the slow-cooked clay pot dishes. The signature of the house it is Moroccan food such as couscous, tagine and pastilla. And the combination of Moroccan cuisine is savory and sweet and, and little of spices and that's very hard to combine but Moroccan cuisine I think is very successful at that. At Babouche, I found the main course portions to be gigantic. While you're there, be sure to try the couscous noir. The couscous noir is one of my specialties. The grains are dyed with a squid ink under a succulent pile of shrimp, scallops, and a link of seafood sausage. Everything in Babouche was made in Morocco specifically for the restaurant. 
from tables, wood, chairs, uh, all decor, everything, even the plates, the dishes we serve in. I really create a small Morocco. Anybody who comes to this restaurant, they, really have, they will have a feel of what Morocco is about. For more information, visit babouchenyc.com. Broadway isn't all about entertainment and fun. Broadway is about helping people in need. Uh, Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS is the theater community's uh, fundraising and grant-making response to the AIDS crisis. Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS has been raising and granting money to benefit the theater community as well as many other people in need across the country since 1988. Basically our funds go two directions. Um, half go to the Actress Fund of America. The Actress Fund is the employee assistance program of the entertainment industry. We fund six uh, programs at the Actress Fund, the AIDS Initiative, the Women's Health Initiative, a clinic here in New York, two housing residences, and a work program. The second part of our mission is basically to take care of our audiences who help us take care of ourselves. And last year we provided about $4.2 million to 450 AIDS and family service organizations in 48 states, Washington, D.C., and Puerto Rico. So I know there are about 12 organizations in Georgia, uh, six of them in Atlanta, that we fund. Right? It's half of our mission that half of this money gets uh, returned to the very people who help us raise it. Since its creation, the organization has had a great success gathering donations in theaters on Broadway and across the country. The bulk of what we do really happens in the theaters. The Broadway shows participate twice a year for six weeks, uh, in the late winter and in the spring, making curtain speeches about us. It's done with audience appeals, where someone breaks what's called the fourth wall. You know, that's when you sort of turn and talk to the audience. They sort of make a pitch to the audience. Two different shows that I attended this year, they were telling us about giving the donations and then they gave us a red ribbon. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this. Uh, Broadway Cares actually helped start the, the red ribbon as a symbol for support of the fight against AIDS. And we offer these free to AIDS service organizations and schools and hospitals. The organization also has a large catalog of over 200 unique Broadway related items available for purchasing year round through their online store. With items such as logo t-shirts, snow globes, original CDs, beaded animals and ornaments, there's something in their store for everyone. This is a collection really only possible at a place like Broadway Cares. I mean, if someone was going to try and license all these logos for a t-shirt, this would be about a thousand dollar t-shirt. Dare I, dare I ask about this, but I think you should it. dare to ask. <laughs> this, is, um, this is a bear. This is the Linda Bear from the musical The Wedding Singer. Uh, this is part of our event that's coming up. It's called the Broadway Bears Auction, Broadway B-E-A-R-S. The Broadway Bears Auction attracts bids from fans and celebrities from all over. The one-of-a-kind teddy bears are truly unique and available for online bidding through their website. The best way to get any information about Broadway Cares is through the website, which is broadwaycares.org. Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. What we do together makes a difference. Thanks for watching this week's Meet the Best Of. For more information on anything you've seen on today's show, just log on to meetthebestof.com and we'll be back right here on WPXA next Saturday at 10 a.m. We've got to go catch a plane now. See you next We're week. We're out of here.